This is Eric for Tarot Talks. You have questions, I have answers. Be sure you save, share, like, and follow. Comment below. Greetings, dear one. Today is fully loaded with good vibes and synchronicities. Today is worth its weight Wednesday, December 6th, 2023. Today we embrace the grounding energy of the color brown, symbolizing stability, resilience, and worthiness. In the cosmos, Neptune moves direct in Pisces, which brings you a shift from inner reflection to the unfolding of outward manifestation. If you are Pisces or not, this is particularly significant because now is the time to trust in the power of your intuition and listen to your inner voice. The moon also goes into Libra, which brings in balance and harmony in relationships, emotions, and overall stasis. Begin by setting small achievable goals that align with your inner vision. If you are new or returning, a warm welcome to this space of guidance and sanctuary. Double tap or like this video to connect with the deck of answers. If you would like a deck of your very own, I invite you to visit my profile. Today's spread reveals a powerful narrative. The wish granted and sacred geometry cards align with Neptune's clarity in actualizing dreams, while ritual and magic echoes the creative potential of this cosmic shift. The true love and inner wisdom cards reflect the harmonious energy of Libra, nurturing emotional connections, whilst the divine feminine masculine card emphasizes balanced energy flow, vital for personal growth. Now, in culmination, the concluding card, New Beginning Ahead, it brings forth fresh starts and opportunities, which mirror Neptune's transformative energy. And the Carousel card, the Hazel Eyes card, represents sharp intellect and dedication, resonating with with today's color brown. It also highlights a grounded approach as you navigate these energies. Today's astrological alignment and your cards weave together a story of manifesting dreams, emotional harmony, and new beginnings. I do pull these cards for the collective, so by all means, take what serves you, leave what does not. We start with the wish granted card, sacred geometry, ritual, and magic. Wish granted. You're about to receive what you have longed for. The veil is finally open. The veil has lifted. It is time for you to walk through and live in that fantasy world that you have created in your mind. Now is a time that you are going to be with the truths that are revealed to you. Anything that you have been after, now is a time where you will learn if it was good for you or not. Now is a time where you will learn how to incorporate all of which what you manifested into your reality. You're receiving the vacation, the trips, the money, the love, the happiness, the experience, everything that makes your human experience your human experience. All that brings you joy, that brings you light, that brings you happiness. It's all now coming to you. Be prepared and be ready. Be prepared to maintain your balance. Be ready to experience everything. Light yourself up again and also remember what it means to stay in a place of balance without going overboard. So if you're going on a trip that's all expense paid, including drinks, take it easy on the drinks. Just because it's free doesn't mean you have to overdo it. It. Take it easy with yourself. Take it easy with your body. Take it easy with your spirit. Take it easy with your energy. Now is the time to start new routines. So everything that you wished for and all that you are experiencing are coinciding and connecting. It's like you leveled up. So this is going to be like your level up party, your wish granted party. Build habits. Build routines. Do things that now guide you towards that path so it'll be easier for you to integrate that into your new found reality and life that you want to live in. True love is on the way. Inner wisdom, divine feminine masculine. Remember that a lot of this, if you are a man, it is important to recognize that a lot of your energy that makes you you is feminine because that is more of the colder parts of you. That is the yin aspect of you. The hot, the yang, that is more of what makes the masculine masculine. So it is time for you to also be in touch with the softer spiritual side. Come back home to center. Take it easy for a little bit. Now is an okay time for you to hibernate. You don't have to go wild and try travel the world. Right now is a good time for you to stay. However, if you have vacations planned, by all means feel free and go on those vacations. But honor yourself ultimately. That is my message to you regarding that. True love is coming on the way. It is very balanced, very cohesive and integrated. You could be a man with feminine energy. You could be a gay man. You could be a female with very strong leadership skills. Again, this is not gender specific. This is just giving me an overall of how this newfound love is going to be integrated into your life. You have the Hazel Eyes card as your culmination 
resonating carousel card, which is telling you to stay grounded, to stay driven, to stay determined in what you are doing. So if you're finding yourself now more involved in your light, in your love, in your art, in your passion, if you are now creating instead of chasing external distractions, good job, go you, pat yourself on the back, you deserve a cookie. And I really mean that, you really do deserve a cookie. <laughs> the new beginning ahead card, this is your culminating card. You want to be able to start fresh and believe me, you are starting fresh. Right now we are still in the very beginning of this month, so you are now just starting a new beginning. But keep in mind that beginnings are always cyclical. This coming February there are now going to be 29 days, so we do have a leap year coming. So you are going to have that extra abundance. You have been given that extra day. You have been given that extra opportunity. So keep that in mind when you go out there and create and when you go to bed at night and you rise the next day, keep in mind that you do have these extra days that are created just for you so you can really truly cherish this experience. Use the inner wisdom and the inner light that you have within you. It is time for you to really start sitting with yourself, with all parts of yourself, the royal parts of yourself, the bare parts of yourself, the fiery parts of yourself, the jagged parts of yourself, all parts of yourself. Sit with them, love them, get to know them, sit in the center and have them surround you so you can truly understand how all of them really truly do create who you are. The parts of you that make you feel alone, the parts of you that make you feel full and organized and prioritized, the parts of you that make you feel centered, the parts of you that are the magical parts that create the magic for you when you're in that divine alignment and that sacred alignment within that sacred geometry. Have a conversation with that person that loves, that heals. You can literally take all of this into one by integrating it and then deconstructing it and bringing it back to center because ultimately you are the you here. You are the full creator, the co-creator, the writer, the director, the producer. So enjoy it. Have fun with it. Welcome the love that's coming to you. If you have been in a relationship with someone and being told that you are being given a letter, someone's offering you their heart, they're offering you something that's kind of private or hidden, but you have been thinking about being in a private engagement for quite some time. If you are in a relationship with someone, again, this only applies if you're in a relationship, not if you are currently singular. I do have a love coming to you, though, if you are singular, prepare, because everything that you have been preparing yourself for, whether it's been being self-sovereign, being more self-aware, being self-nurturing and self-loving, all of that has contributed to your own personal growth, and all of that is contributing to your own evolutionary progress. And so keep doing what you're doing because you are now attracting and magnetically attracting that true love counterpart balance to you that is just like you. Also, if you're married or if you're with child or if you're with children, I have a very big surprise that is coming for you this holiday season. I don't know if it's another child or if it's a visit from afar, but there is definitely something new that is going to be given to you that is going to impact your life in a positive fashion. So be prepared to receive something new that could be from the skies or that can be from the earth. It is a time for you to receive all that you have asked for, all that you have prayed for, and all that you have truly yearned for. Everything is coming to you with light, with love, goodness, and grace. And it is from above and it is coming to bless you upon your face. Love this with light. Love this with love. This is a message for you today from above. Channeled with love and light from me to you. Until tomorrow, dear one. Keep shining, manifesting, and loving. You are source in human form. Create the most amazing and magical experience with your divine light with grace and love.